To become a queen, a woman must pass the king's threefold test. For burly men bring in a contraption adorned with bells. The princess must traverse this contraption without triggering any of the bells to pass successfully. Three princesses hailing from different lands, who've always maintained strict control over their figures, easily breeze through the first trial. The king, delighted by their performance, swiftly arranges the second test of wits. He instructs the wisest elder to present challenges to the three princesses. From different angles, they all provide the correct answers, flawlessly clearing the second hurdle. The king is highly satisfied and promptly sets up the third and final test. Several attendants bring in a table and three cups of wine, followed by the arrival of three beggars. The king orders them to drink the wine, but in the next moment, the beggar in the middle suddenly collapses. It turns out that one of the three cups held poisoned wine. Now it's the three princesses' turn. The king selected his queen through three goblets of wine. Servants blindfold the princesses with black cloth, shuffling the cups filled with wine in secrecy. Upon unveiling their eyes, the king instructs each to select a goblet. And swiftly, the middle princess opts to abstain without reproach. Two princesses remain in the race. Anna boldly raises her goblet and drinks it all without hesitation. Without any signs of poisoning, she stands unharmed. It's Celine's turn, trembling as she lifts a goblet but doesn't bring it to her lips. Her legs give way, fear gripping her as she collapses on the table. Yet, to everyone's surprise, in the next moment, Anna raises the goblet Celine had just chosen and drinks it all in one go. Even more astonishing is the fact that, Anna picks up the last goblet and finishes it without a worry. Anna tells the king that she had heard of his reputation as a just and kind ruler back in her homeland, believing he would never harm innocent lives. As it turns out, the three goblets were never poisoned. This final trial tested their courage and mettle. The king is greatly pleased with Anna and promptly crowns her as his queen.